the spread of terrorism and intensification of all the conflicts on the African continent and throughout the world have been a setback to our quest to silence the guns. In Southern Africa, we remain seized with insecurity and a terrorist insurgency in northern parts of Cabo Delgado in Mozambique and the conflicts in parts of the Great Lakes region. Emboldened by our sadic regional philosophy that an injury to one is an injury to all, we continue to pool our resources to fight terrorism and other threats to peace, security, and stability in our region. We appeal to the United Nations to render the requisite support to our efforts to restore peace in the affected areas. In the work of the United Nations, this will go a long way towards safeguarding the interests of future generations. In 2022, mid-season drought and tropical cyclones regrettably reduced the overall performance of the agricultural sector. To this end, the climate change conundrum has continued to be an albatross. The United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change and the Paris Agreement should remain the primary platform for negotiating our collective global response to climate change. Court, a watershed moment, transformative solution to interlocking challenges, end of court, captures the importance. Zimbabwe is making concerted and deliberate efforts to integrate climate action into our national policies, strategies, and planning. This includes strengthening resilience and the adaptive capacity of the most vulnerable in our society. Additionally, my government is implementing an ambitious program to increase the number of dams for irrigation. The program is expected to create green belts across the country as we reduce dependency on rain-fed agricultural activities while enhancing export-laid production and productivity. We commend him for the President of the General Assembly's Fellowship of Hope Initiative. The number of persons exposed to food insecurity continues to increase. Meanwhile, the stages of conflict and climate change have become major drivers of migration and refugees. The ever-looming threat associated with the Triple C crisis of COVID-19 conflict and the climate change has placed upon us an enormous responsibility to confront these interlocking challenges by strengthening multilateralism and solidarity.